also single elim. So this kind of single elimination, kind of one life situation is something that these teams got to get used to. Yep. So definitely looking to see more of these top teams in emergence days getting themselves ready for the major. I am ready myself, and I'm ready for this final game. Chat, let me know who's taking it. Reciprocity or NRG, support your team in the chat. Even if you don't even support any of these teams, support them right now because they need your energy. It's been a fantastic one. Fun fact about tonight, right? Training Grounds was Reciprocity's pick, and NRG won it 7-6. to six. Move on to Asylum. NRG picked it, and Reciprocity won it 7-4. to four. Now we're on Vascar, of course, the... Uh, the middle ground, right? The uh, the default map that we kind of come to after the pick and bands, and I'm excited to see who's going to take this overall. It's a great map, allows for a lot of exciting moments. It's pretty chaotic to say the least, but we thought it was NRG's maybe weak point. But then again, we haven't seen Reciprocity play it tonight. But clearly, Mental, he's on point, right? That Lancer Fire looking deadly up close and personal with the back A onto Powers. Potentially going to take him out, but no, sir. The knife comes through, and Powers capitalizes. The powers another member in front of him is going to be summoned. Hits him back a little bit of a Mike Tyson of his own. Heading towards that C Hill where, we, where he will be met by his teammate Mental at both A and C. Over to the COG team. Reciprocity getting to choose now where they want to make their push next. Of course, they still have the B Hill lockdown. Members of NRG kind of starting to threaten their way over there, seeing what they can do. Seeing they can poke at the potential of a little bit of a three cap. And <laughs> Reciprocity, though, four deep over the B Hill. Yeah, I know, right? You got to be watching out for that. NRG knows this. They're backing up, but the first victim, he's going to be praised. Franchise, he's going to be very weak, but his teammates are going to be supporting him. He'll get picked up, but immediately drop back down as NRG stops this push. And rightly so, they're doing a great job. Energy still in control, getting those points racked up in their favor and uh, could be carried away relatively soon if Reciprocity can't answer back. I see, though, doing everything in his power to try and finish off some of the Energy players. Mental, though, will get tagged up and is about to get pinched. And at the end of the day, it's not going to be enough. Kenny finishes him off. That's going to be two down on the side of NRG, all five up for Reciprocity. Yeah, Reciprocity find themselves down about 50 points so far. NRG getting control of both A and C Hill again. Rex, Rex really only been able to kind of hold down that B Hill throughout the duration of this first round. Finally getting their hands over on that A Hill. You see Solar's getting bullied off that hill a little bit as well. C's also going to be decapped. So liking what I'm seeing from Reciprocity, taking some initiative, kind of moving around the map a little bit more and not just relying on that B Hill. Powers getting the kill on the Praise, looking to make it a second. Unfortunately, he's going to be taken down. Lancer Fire coming in from Reciprocity. Can they get the clone up, clean up kill on to explosive? The answer is going to be yes. And the teammate of Solar's down as well. Summons the only remaining member. These are long spawns, Taylor. If they can get the wipe on him, this will end the round. He has nowhere to go. If he gets killed, the round's over. If they get the cap, the round's over. Nothing that Summons can do. Reciprocity strikes first on the tiebreaker, wow. leading 1-0. In a convincing way too, right? I mean, they came out guns blazing. It took two minutes and 48 seconds, but the end result is Reciprocity winning quite convincingly. Great stuff from them. You looked at the overall elimination feed, and uh, Reciprocity was lighting it up very, very well. Now, granted, though, the initial was won by NRG. They look solid, but Reciprocity did a fantastic job flipping that back in their favor. Now, one reoccurring theme that has been placed time and time again, whether it be on trading grounds or asylum between NRG and reciprocity, is the fact that a boom or a drop is placed in mid. And it might be the case here on Crater, and I hope it is, because deviating those players out has kind of been uh, pretty fun to watch. And watching a battle and all that blood in the, you know, just at really off the initial start is, is great to see. I'm excited to watch this. Let's see how this breakout's gonna work. You're going to see IC being met by Solars and Praised. Has a teammate of his own over in that tank area. 2v2 stalemate going on so far. Both teams are waiting for something to happen. You hear those flashbangs starting to come in. Very slow, right? I mean, it's you nice. looked at the first round and it was just an explosive start now, taking their time. Waiting for the other team to make the mistake. And who that is going to be, well, we'll find out. Summons is going to get lit up with the Lancer Fire. He escapes, but just barely, and eventually he will get dropped. And Powers can't get the finish as of yet. Mental's actually going to go ahead and go for it. Powers does get the finish, and he Ooh. picks up Mental in return. Fantastic stuff. And he's not done yet. You see him heading over towards Explosive, trying to get that third kill. Instead, he's going to put some damage in, head back over to that hill, prioritizing that objective. Explosive and on a hill of his own, but he knows that he is between a rock and a hard place. Two members of Reciprocity are going to close in and take him out. Wreck 
looking very, very strong so far on this second map. They're likely going to get both A and C. You see NRG kind of trying to get over towards C, maybe try to tag at it a little bit, but just too many members of Reciprocity waiting for him. Yeah, not a lot he can do, right? I mean, he can't just go in. It's basically going to mean the end of your life relatively quickly and explosive. He's going to be behind the same coverage as him. Summons does find a little angle, and some nice stuns are going to come through. Kenny's going to take a ton of damage. And with the use of utility items, they did a great job pushing Reciprocity back. Now, I do know Explosives and Summons is there. I don't know if anybody else was joining them from the NRG side, but overall, they're going to start closing that point deficit, and they will take the lead for the first time, at least in this round. Reciprocity is going to be answering back onto C. And with this push from Reciprocity, this could spell trouble for NRG, or maybe for Reciprocity, a Summons and Explosive. Take out IC and Franchise, oh and Rushies goes down too. He got Explosive, got revived, and went on an absolute tear, just flying to the members of Reciprocity just like that. Four quickly go down. NRG sitting at full strength right now. They're moving forward. Powers going to get shot in the back, trying at least to take one out before going down. He gets a shot. Unfortunately, he's going to miss it. Mental takes him out with the knife. Now, A Hill being decapped. Recap opportunity coming in for NRG. One kill goes down. Make that two. Icy with an entire wall of members of NRG in front of him, trying his best to get in that hill. He can't do it. Neither can his teammate Kenny. Four oh dead. Power is the only member cannot even have an wow. opportunity. NRG equalized this. Both teams <laughs> sitting at a round apiece, finishing it off on the same hill. It's crazy, right? I mean, Reciprocity applied so much pressure. I mean, they applied all the pressure in the world, and NRG just took that pressure and made it explode in their favor, and they just took advantage, got the win with the trip cap. Can't let that happen to you. Energy, great stuff overall, capitalizing over there on the B Hill and uh, taking over the game. Overall tied up one-to-one. -one. These teams go back and forth. I want to look at the uh, the respawn economy because actually I, I think it's still pretty okay on both sides. Yeah, um, both both rounds like I said, sort of finished to that three cap. Yeah. I don't think either team threw away a ton of respawns. So nothing no, everybody's not necessarily worried about yeah. just yet. But a little later on could be the case. We're going to see the shocks on the map. Kenny and Mental each going to come out of spawn with one of their own. Fight ensuing over that sea hill right away. The hills are positioned uh, very uniquely, I would say, on Baskar. In terms of where these fights go down in the initials. Mensel tries to get away. He's going to be dropping his teammate there to help him. Explosive gets the revive. Kills come in on each side. Franchise is going to accidentally down his teammate. Both teams having members down. Teamfire coming in. Explosive not going to be able to get the finish before the revive comes in. It's going to be reciprocity again. The better end of that engagement. Explosive almost going down before regaining some of his cool. health. You can see the members of Reciprocity, the head full of steam as they head over to that hill. Explosive is going to have a nice angle on them. Seth chooses to go help his teammate. He doesn't even need to. Praise and Mental are going absolutely berserk over at the A hill. Kenny too? One goes down. Kenny gets er, flash. I'm sorry. Multiple flashes come in. They are going to favor Reciprocity, at least for now. Praise finally getting taken out. Summons trying to finish one off with a pistol. One goes down. Can it be a second? Big plays. If Summons can finish this off, he hits him with a reaction shot and ends up taking them both out. Wow. Clutch plays coming in from Summons. And you got to highlight Icy in that situation, right? Coming through with Kenny to back him up. Getting two kills himself, but yeah, good stuff coming out from NRG to kind of capitalize in that moment. And once again, they answer back. Uh, NRG won't continue to have the lead, and they won't maintain it as Franchise gets dropped himself. And Rush has had a, a pretty bad run, I would have to say, for this. I mean, he's down down to uh, two respawns. I think he started off with either four or five. So at least he's died two or three times. A still neutralized. Someone's is in a, a hell of a fight with Rushies, who eventually will take him out in the end and make his way over towards A. Mental will be the only one that he has to get through, and that's going to be a nice tag up plus a finish. And NRG will maintain this A hill, and they should be able to capitalize it very soon. There it is, and they will continue their point lead. About a 60-point lead so far, looking very good overall. Reciprocity now starting to get a little bit more desperate, making those desperation pushes, trying to figure out what can we do to better our situation. And Ryan, what do you think? 
Yeah, I mean, Reciprocity right now, they're kind of finding themselves in a bit of a hole in this round number three. NRG's kind of controlled that B-Hill the entire time. So basically, despite all the kind of back and forth between these two teams, it has been NRG building a lead the entire time with sort of that constant hill. And you're seeing the kill feed continuing to look blue. Kills coming in for NRG. We are at the end. The even C is being decapped. This is not looking good for the Swarm team. Franchise is going to choose not even to spawn back in. NRG take their first lead now of the Grand Finals. I'm sorry, I have the tiebreaker of the grand finals oh yeah <laughs> this is the tiebreaker of the grand finals it has been a a long competitive night of nothing but close games and gets better and better three games pass mental now at 19 elims himself not bad whatsoever in only three rounds in only three rounds 19 kills we've seen some high number of kills tonight we really have we really you have you think, you think mental's trying to mess with the the, the top spot today 67. 67 is the highest eliminations we have seen tonight in emergencies. That was 67 for the loss. By Toady on that exhibit. Yes. I keep Taylor this. continues to point out that it was for the L. Jeez, man, that that hurts. But yeah, 67. Toady tore it up that game. It was a speedy for 60, 64, 62. And speedy, it's either 62 or 64, Jesus. and then Toady went up there with a 64, sorry, 67 bomb of his own. So a couple of fantastic performances. He said mental might be trying to. To beat the record himself. Oh, Mental drop shot kills come in. Mental gonna give him a 20th. Gonna take out his former teammate. Nice. See Kenny answering back, taking out Mental. Solar's gonna go down in the kill feed as well. Kenny be picked up, praised, trying to equalize it. He's gonna be caught between a rock and a hard place, aka two reciprocity members. That's four dead. Summons the last member alive. Can they spot him? Can they get this elimination? Oh. The answer's gonna be yes, but not before oh, no. Mental can spawn up. It's gonna be a 1v1 right now. Powers versus Mental for the hill. Powers actually decides to run away, not to engage the 1v1. Yep. That's something you see very often from Powers. A very confident player, likes those 1v1 situations. Instead, he's going to decide to try and help his team. He ends up getting taken out either way. There comes the trade. Members of NRG off spawn. going to be taken out, coupled by Icy. He gets traded. And like no other members of Reciprocity there to help him. The Sea Hill is being decapped, though. Someone got behind them, I think. A little bit of a Mr. Krabs. They have to get A. They do. Oh. Good job, Frank. Gets one. Yep, he gets Almost one. Gets a second. That's very close. Still, every kill they get, I mean, is putting them in a in a better and better position on the map. And uh, Reciprocity does have a a nice considerable lead. An important round to tie it up. Solar's in the corner. He's going to have three players very soon push him on Reciprocity. He'll go ahead and back up and join Explosives with the Lancer fire below. Franchise, though, not scared to get into the face of NRG, and, and he will do just that. He gets a nice tag, and he will get the finish onto Solars. Good job from him. Eventually, he gets dropped. Can he get picked up? Nope. Mental's going to go ahead and finish him off, and he's going to focus attention on the Kenny, who makes a miss roll, and he pays for it. Mental takes him out. That's going to be two for him. Still, though, it was three down momentarily for NRG. Mental clutches up in that moment. He secures A, he keeps it locked in. His team will be able to spawn up, but I think Rushy should at least be able to get the neutralization, if not the full cap here, to give A and B over to Reciprocity. Rush going to finally get that cap. Reciprocity in control so far. And numbers in the battlefield, numbers in the scoreboard. Things are looking good for them to tie this up at 2 2. Drop shot going to be in their hands as well. It's the perfect weapon to play defense with, especially on kind of those final pushes when you know they got to jump into the hill. Let's see what Mental and his team can do. Drop shot in Mental's hands. Swarm will need to hold that hill for a little while longer. Split push has to come in if you are NRG. You got to start jumping on these hills soon, otherwise. The map, sorry, the round will be over. There's that drop shot, Solar's manages to dodge oh, it. Oh, he's neutralized. Hills being neutralized, Hills being decapped. Oh no! Reciprocity manages to play the defense they need to do. They allowed for the decap, but they stay composed. They got the recap when it mattered. Once again, these two teams neck and neck. Yep. We are tied up at two rounds apiece. Good stuff. I mean, this is the final that you expected to have. Now, going into round number five, the only player that I'm really going to focus on is going to be Rushies. Okay, he was down to no respawns in that last round. So if he goes down, constant 5v4. Now, granted, he has one now, uh, but still, he's got to play appropriately. And whenever we do know, or at least what we do know about Vascar, is lives can go away quickly, especially with how close-knit these fights can be. I'm on board right now with... Mental making so many plays for this NRG roster all night long. The drop shot's going to be picked up on both ends. 
Meth is going to take his drop shot over towards that B hill. A lot of members of Reciprocity there to meet him. Praising it, push over at Tank. First blood. Going to be the franchise. Meth is going to use that drop shot to kind of equalize the numbers right here. Solar's going to head over to Kenny. Gets a miss roll. It's going to be a chunk. He still manages to run right through him. Can he get tagged up a little bit more? He knows he has to get in that hill. Otherwise, it'll be a three cap. Tags up franchise a little oh. bit. Finishes him off with a long, long melee lunge. <laughs> Commando Pro. Be going away tomorrow sometime this week. Might as well use it up. Earn your money from it. Earn your keep. Numbers back in favor of NRG. Expressly build a small lead. At this rate, it will diminish shortly. I see. Does go down. He's going to be left up with just one respawn rush. He's been dropped off too. Domination. Don't say it so, but does go away. And RG still threatening it. Reciprocity can't make it happen. NRG is going to get the win just by kills alone. Nobody responds up wisely, so they know the round was over, and it's going to be three-two. NRG takes the lead once again. Uh, this might be a, a trend we could follow throughout the entirety of this game, this final game in this best of three, right? They could just be going back and forth, and uh, it's really anybody's game. I love how controlled everybody is, though. You can tell everybody's playing their life accordingly. No one's really trying to throw it away. They're not making unnecessary plays. If they just need to walk up and get a kill, that's what they're doing. There's no reason for all the fancy whatever. They're just playing good. They want to win this, and you can tell everybody is focused and poised, and this is an overall just great game. To say the least. It's anybody's game, which is pretty crazy to say, right? Energy versus reciprocity, but breakout is going to go down. Mental on your screen once again. He is going to have the drop shot. Kind of curious how he's going to be using that in return. Players off in a distance onto A. And it uh, looks like it's going to be another slow round for the time being. So, be taking their time. Maybe a push, though, actually. Excuse me. From reciprocity, the stuns do come out. Summits is going to get dropped. Explosives in a fight himself. Kenny. Putting NRG on the backtrack, but a great job from Mental with the drop shot. Unfortunately, he will pick off his team at explosives as well. So that's going to be two down on the side of NRG. And that was two down onto the side of Reciprocity. Rushy's going for a full send on three players from NRG. I don't know how that's going to work out. Four players pushing him. He's finally going to get dropped. I see Mike get dropped here too. He's in a bad position, and he will, in fact, go down. And now NRG has total control, not only of A, or excuse me, not only of C, but they should be able to get B here, at least I thought. But I guess not going to be the case. They're going to go ahead and extend their way over towards A, go for the double home mill setup. Yeah, NRG moving with a full head of steam right now, you see. Edging towards that A hill, Reciprocity trying to play some defense. Icy's going to get started off, getting that kill on the prey. Summons, seeing his teammate fall, going to try and get out. Almost. Taken out by Franchise before Mental is there to, for the rescue. Numbers sort of evening back up. You see Icy and Rush being faced by Mental and Summons ever so close to that A hill. NRG, despite those efforts, didn't end up getting that decap. So Rec continues to build a sizable lead, already up around 50 points. Kenny being taken out over by the tank area. Could be trouble for Powers. He's going to be surrounded by three people now. Powers can try at least get one on the way out. Franchise and the kill feed, however, getting a nice double kill that should help them. Currently now at a 2v3 situation that could have gotten a lot worse if Fran did not get that double kill. Oh. Solar's putting his drop shot to use, not going to connect. Did stop the cap at the very least, but didn't equalize on that kill. Yeah, hit marker was all he was able to get. Everybody spot back up, so back to square one. NRG will, just for the time being, be the team that is going to win off of time off of BNC, but we know how chaotic this is going to be. In one player that you got to look at, Rush, he's once again back on his only life. So he's got to play accordingly. Look at Liking the pressure. Yeah, wide I, there. I, yeah. I, I love that with the Lancer. I like the aggression there, right? Knew the players were very, very hurt. Got right up in there, tried to finish it off. That allowed his teammates to move forward. You can see Icy getting a kill. Solar's taken very, very weak. Getting the down on Powers on the way out. Beautiful shots come in from Solars. Kenny trying to get his teammate. Gets the down on the explosive. Gets one. Ooh. Almost makes it a second before Solars hits him with that uppercut. C Hill being decapped. Mike Tyson, baby. But the B Hill now in Reciprocity's favor. You see energy quickly make their way over towards the only hill that Wreck has. Drop shot coming in. That should connect on Icy. It yes, does. It does. 
Now the look at now the home mills are being decapped. Reciprocity <laughs> all over the map. Loving the rotations uh -oh. coming in. They're hitting all NRG? the objectives at once. A Hill now in their possession. It looks like no one from NRG will be able to get there in time. Even if they do, Kenny has that drop shot. Loving the rotations from Reciprocity. We end the first half tied 3 3. Taylor, this match has been so neck and neck all the way through. It has been. We have to see a round 13 at this point. We have to see a game three round 13. Oh, th honestly, without a doubt, we're going to see a round 13. There, there's no way. The, the way that they're trading off, it just makes sense that a round 13 is going to happen. And these rounds have been, I think, what? We saw maybe a, a 33 second. Was that even on this map or was that on the previous one? A 33 that second last one? Map, that was yeah. last map, right? So these, these rounds have been going for like at least two minutes each or three minutes. They've been going the distance, 250. I think we saw one triple cap at one point. That was about it. But regardless, though, you could see how methodical these players are playing it out. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And it's definitely going to go the distance to round 13 without question. Without question. That's not even a cast or curse coming out, right? That's just, it's, it's just inevitable. It's going to happen. Mental's positioning is good to maybe catch powers off guard. Does get a nice little tag. Forcing powers back. Drop shot comes through. Mental tries to avoid it. Unfortunately, he can't. He goes down. Reciprocity will be in control of DNE. Start getting those points forward. Explosive in a decent fight, but unfortunately, he gets caught off guard. He will get dropped. Graves will pick him up. Franchise, though, drops him once again. And you got to see Rush. He's from the flank along with Franchise to go ahead and finish two off. That's three down. That's Solars. Explosive praised as well. All drop mental and summon still up. And these are some long spawns. And it is going to be a 3v2, so it's not going to be as chaotic as you thought it would be. But mental up close disrespects Rushies and drops him. Numbers seem like they're heading towards Reciprocity's favor again. They have a slight lead. Summons in a very, very low health. Gonna get dropped by Icy. Reciprocity in the driver's seat. Once again, you see the kill feed continuing to go in their favor. Kenny is gonna take out at least one, looking to make it a second. Solar's taking a low health. He gets dropped. The kill feed is all red. Mental and Praise, the last remaining members. Praise taking a low health. Mental trying to do anything he can for his team. Powers gets the first. Powers looking to get the second. They're going for the three cap. Summons goes down. Powers no taking way. out so they many didn't. members. Wreck strikes uh, back. They have now taken row. the lead. Four to three. Look at that scoreboard. So satisfying to look at, actually. I mean, it's literally identical now. Uh, just the inverse, right? You got two in the beginning from NRG. Now two uh, in the uh, from the first half over to the continuation of the second half. They went two in a row to bring it up four three. Love it when I'm seeing here. Reciprocity is fighting it out. The, the, the most beautiful thing about all this is it is, in fact, week one of season two. So this is to set the precedents, right, for your team throughout the entirety of uh, at least for emergence days for however long we ran it. We ran the last one for 14 weeks, and we might run this one for just the same. You never know uh, whenever it comes to the future of this uh, of this series, and it's to win the first one of anything, of any series, of any tournament, always feels great. And uh, it could be any one of these teams here overall. Talk about the storylines leading into future weeks. That's what I, I love the most about what we're seeing here. Rushies onto summons just up above. He'll go ahead and take his time, maybe play his life just a little bit. Uh, I do like the idea from NRG already going for the home hill setup immediately off the rip, and that opens the doors for them to go ahead and go towards E, give up maybe their home hill or give up at least one of the hills and uh, have that D, E, or F, E split, which is uh, the way to go about it overall. I see is getting pretty bold. He is giving no respect to Solars, and uh, rightly so. He comes and takes it. Mental, though, once again, will shut him down. But he's going to get pressured himself. And that's going to be a nice brick onto Franchise. We'll drop him with powers there in the end to pick him up. See Franchise versus Praise right now. Two guys who've teamed together for so long. Franchise gets the better end of this engagement with the help of his teammate Powers. 5v3 situation in favor of Reciprocity. Once again, they will take that time lead back shortly with this E and F Hill. D being d as well. Uh oh. Tripcap coming in. NRG surely will get on that E Hill. Finally, they do. Flashes come in. First drop shot. Praise being dropped too. Reciprocity continuing to move forward, trying to get some angles. You're going to see Kenny come around. Icy come around. Solars gets hit a little bit. Icy finally is dropped. That will take oh, away the one flank. of their Someone's angles. On the flank. But here it comes. Franchise taking a low health. Kenny gets a meat shield. Gets angled. Or sorry, meleeed out of it. Solars with the one two punch. 
a young Mike Tyson quickly disposes of that. <laughs> Meat Shield disposes of Kenny. Wow, but I mean, the damage has been done, right? Despite all of that, I mean, from yeah, but NRG, look at the score now. I, that's what I'm saying. 170 to 100. Like, it's going to be tough for NRG to come back, even if they get the double uh, double setup, right? Two hills. Is it going to be enough to take over the lead? That's not, as you can see from the top, right? But they do got to be careful. Reciprocity. If they F hill does get neutralized, they could be in some trouble. And that's going to be a solid two kills coming out from NRG. I see. Kenny, they've now got to hold their own in this situation. NRG is pushing for that triple cap, and they might capitalize on this moment, but a good rotation from at least Kenny or I see over towards Echo. They're going to lock that down, and they'll continue their lead. But it's not going to be enough now. Now we need to see Reciprocity get two hills if they want to win it. Brand going to get that hill, but not able to get the full decap. 5v4 situation for NRG. They do win at this pace. They are to hold DNF. You see a drop shot in the hands of Powers. They're gonna try to do the same thing they did before. Here goes the drop shot. It's not gonna be able to connect. Kenny, sorry, Rushies, end up getting that down onto Explosive. At least the break comes in. All Reciprocity needs to do now is not allow NRG to wipe them. Powers gets one, looking to make it a second. Does not have the opportunity, but D gets decapped as well. Nice. The hills going in Rex's favor. The kills a little bit in NRG's favor, but if Rex can continue to hold forward with these hills, that, that would it. mean trouble. Franchise with a huge play onto the hill. Yep. Rushies yep. with a double That's kill. It. Reciprocity coming alive, extending their lead. That brings us to a 5-3. They've it's won in a row. four out of the last five we talked about. If they can get to this third map, if they can push it to a tiebreaker, this would be such a good chance for them. We've seen NRG show some signs of weakness on this fast car map. This is the only map we've seen them lose before this series to Hive. Reciprocity, Disabled. if they can continue to push forward, can find themselves as our week one champions. Looks like we're disabling the drop shots for the time being on both sides. Reciprocity, they're on that coveted five round, at least victory currently. They need one more, bring it to six, and they will be in the driver's seat to win the first week of Emergence Day Season 2. And they are looking solid. Energy, just not looking like the energy. I know Reciprocity now with all the confidence in the world, and they are bringing their A game. Can they make it happen? Off the rip, looks like there's going to be a contention over at F, and uh, NRG was on it, and they looked as if they were going to have E as well as F, but no, sir. Reciprocity comes through. They lock down D. They lock down F, and they'll start racking up their point lead for the time being. But this next series of kills is going to be important, to say the least. And Mental, looking like he's wanting to pounce on a couple of different players off into the distance. He'll be joined by Solars, and uh, it's only a matter of time before Reciprocity dealing with Franchise and Icy. They're out the sun to start that push. Here it comes. See Solars versus Icy. Oh, Icy getting nice. better into that engagement. Not even a clip down. Going to go help his teammates instead. Heads up plays coming in from Icy. See that E Hill in his sights. They can get on that hill if they can make that ding star, as the players call it. That could be big. NRG will have no choice but to head over there. Four going to go down. Mental, the last remaining member, tries to hop on F, but for how long? That's a trip cap. That's going to be trip cap. That's going to be it. Ryan, that's a trip. Six Is that the three. third trip cap in a row? That's going to be five of the last six rounds in favor of Reciprocity. They are on map point, match point, and championship point. Looking so strong. Momentum in their hands. That's at least the second trip cap in a row, Ryan. Absolute insanity. We were going back and forth. We talked about a game 13, and I said it was inevitable, and here we are. Reciprocity. Tournament point, match point, like you said. It all comes down to this. NRG needs to make a massive comeback. They need to be flawless for four straight rounds if they want to take over the victory. But it's looking like the odds are stacked against them. Here we go. Comes down to this moment, Ryan. See the boom shot being picked up by Solars. Craze deciding where he wants to throw that flash, where that first piece of utility is going to go. Solars using that boom shot, getting the opening kill on the Icy. Flash comes in. There's the counter flash. Big fight ensuing as the hill gets capped by Reciprocity. Then we're going to be down, not cleaned up just yet. Finally taken out. So Rec does get the full cap, but it's gonna quickly be decapped from NRG. F starting to go down as well. Hills looking all in favor of the Cogman right now. Icy does not know that the praise is there waiting for him. A quick okay. trip cap <laughs> comes in. 49 seconds. Uh -oh. NRG stops the bleeding. 
Still got some more work cut out for him, but a quick, quick round puts them back on the board. Three more to go for NRG. Like I said, Wreck, one more soul round will give them the championship. It's getting close, right? I mean, that's one. Hey, that's only one round. Let's not get carried away. NRG. They if they win the if they win this one here, I'm I'm starting to get a little bit more worried. But overall, reciprocity has looked very solid. And you know what? Hey, it's okay. You went four in a row. You can give up one round. There's really no damage done there. So still plenty of opportunity to come through here. But NRG, they brought the Fuego last time. Let's see if it, they could do just the same here. Three are going to be rotating onto the outside up step. So kind of curious to know how this fight's going to go down. It's going to be very important to, you know, kind of track this, right? You got Praise. He's got three people, four people from Reciprocity right in front of him. And if NRG can slay out in this very moment, this could spell trouble for the side of Reciprocity. And for the meantime, no one's going to be able to make a controlled push. Mental might be going into the franchise, and he's going to do just that, right? Sh uh, shot with the boom to silence him. I see onto the back pedal. And F should, in fact, be captured here and uh, Kenny's not going to be able to do a lot other than just the boom shot. Three people will be pushing and a great collapse down onto Mental to drop them. NRG still in control for the time being but for how long? We'll see Reciprocity getting that D hill, getting that F hill. Someone's going to be tagged up a little bit. Should be able to stay alive. Kenny cannot stay alive. Franchise going to be there before getting traded out. Powers dropped as well. E hill still in favor of NRG. Time, however, starting to sway in Reciprocity's favor. You're going to see Rushy's get taken out by that last bullet from Explosive. Hasn't been revived by CMH just yet. Metzl going to go ahead and get the cleanup. You're going to see NRG hopping over towards that F hill. Kenny, two members in front of him. Not much he can do just yet. He's going to try and get one. He does. Nice. Takes out Summons. Manages to stay alive. Gets a little bit of his health back. Dancing around these two members before finally dropping. However, same time, his teammate is going to hop on E. So, again, it's a small lead for Rex so far. Metal's going to go down. Gray's deciding if he wants to fight for it. The boom shot is there, so he definitely needs to try to get one of these kills. He cannot. That is going to be a new boom That's shot big. in the hands of Rex. E still up for grabs. They're heading over towards the F hill. Boom shot in hand. This could be a big push for Rex right now. Nice. Floor's going to be taken out. Mental Praise off spawn. Trying to fight for it. There comes the flash. I like that break at the very least. You see them kind of backing up. You know they're not going to get the full cap just yet. They got to earn it. 2v2 situation, Mental and Praised versus Rushies and Icy. Here comes the trip cap sound. Well, they've done this before, right? Three times in a row. NRG breaks it. Icy gets one, Icy gets two. That's both Praised and Solars. Numbers in Reciprocity's favor. Explosive and Mental, the only members alive. They have to make a play. Mental cannot do it. Reciprocity are on the home hill. Explosive gets dropped. Summons and Praised off the spawn. Can they get there in time? Can they get the touch? Praised for now gets the neutralization. They need to get kills. They cannot. Mental cannot get there in time. I don't think he'll have a chance to get a touch. Swarm will dominate in one second. He cannot get there. Reciprocity finishes the third and final map with a score of 7-4, to four showing wonderful composure. Wow. And they are crowned our champions of Emergence Days Week number one. Huge plays coming in from Reciprocity. I am so impressed what I saw by them today. This is the final we wanted to see, Ryan, and we saw just that. The final game is finished, and Reciprocity is your victor, as you said, of Emergence Day Season 2, Week 1. What a tournament we had tonight. Literally, we started, I think, at like 4 o'clock. It's now just under midnight, and we have seen so many great games overall that all led to this very moment. And